Hey guys, Dawn here, and I'm back with another Design Clips video. Today we're going to be making that one card, but two. We're going to use the leftover scraps from our first card to create a second one. So let's get started. We're going to be using our Chevron impression plate, and a lot of people ask me how I get such a good impression with the imp uh, with our impression plate. So it's really, it's not difficult, it's just like everything else, um, but depending on the machine that you use, you'll have to play around with your sandwich. So I wanted to show you what I figured worked for me. First thing is your sandwich construction. I always start off with my multi-purpose platform, both tabs are down, and then I lay down my impression plate. Then I'm going to lay down my panel. Then I put down my embossing mat, and then my embossing plate. And then my secret is I put down three cardboard, or not cardboard, but cardstock shims. And then here I've actually embossed them and then wrote down my, my formula, so my sandwich. And then I lay those on top. And that's kind of my shim. I guess you could use a metal adapter. I don't have one. And then just remove it all. Then you have a really nice impression. Can you see that? See how nice and deep that is. This is going to go right here eventually. But first what I want to do is trim off oh, maybe the bottom two rows of chevrons here. So I'm going to follow the pattern that was created by the embossing. Alright, so after cutting that off I've got this nice little zigzag, the chevron that matches the pattern that's running through the cardstock itself. And I'm going to hold on to this little scrap here because I'm going to use it in the next card. So I've got this paper here from Pebbles. It's their fresh goods collection. I've been hoarding this stuff. I don't know about you, but I'm a paper hoarder. I'm going to layer this underneath like so. And I decided that I want to give this a little definition. So I'm going to take some scratch paper here. And I'm going to use my inking tool and some Distress Ink here and Vintage Photo. Okay, so now that I've just defined those edges just a bit, I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I need to adhere this underneath here. So I'm just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to put my adhesive on the edges here. That way I don't have to really worry about measuring. Because again, I'm lazy. First I'm going to stamp my little cluster of flowers from uh, Folk Art Florals. I'm going to be using one of the little flowers and the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these up. And I'm using colors that are complementary to the paper. I'm going to pull the colors from this paper over here that we're using. Next, I'm going to add in some leaves. There we go. Next, I'm going to add the sentiment. And I'm going to be using Sweet Birthday Wishes. And that is from our... Um, fresh picked. And then I'm going to line this up to where the leaves are kind of underneath it. Now the reason I stamped all of this first was so that I could get it completely centered within um, 
within my frame. And I'm going to center this and stamp. And see, it doesn't matter that I got this sentiment kind of crooked the first time I stamped it because I fixed that by making my frame a little crooked. Centered it around there instead. Now I'm going to be using our Label Layers 5 to die cut this out. And when I'm die cutting the... When I've stamped it and then I die cut, there's a little trick that everybody... I think everybody knows about. But if you don't know about it, then you're about to see it now. I have what I have done is I have previously cut this die shape out of a scrap piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this this way so I can see it. Um, I'm going to lay this over it, get it all centered, and then I'm just going to lay that right over. And then I have this little post-it note that I've used a bajillion times, and I just lay it over, stick it in place. Then we're just going to cut. And let me take it out. Ta-da! Check that out. Perfectly centered. No wasted paper. Like I said, it was just going to be a nice, simple card. Um, might ink the edges of this just a tad. Or a lot, as the case may be. this to the card front. I'm kind of a standing stamper. More than a sitting stamper. I prefer to stand. How about you? Do you sit or stand? We're going to wrap some twine right around the bottom here. Move that into place. Trim the edges. There you have the completed card. Super simple. Okay, are you ready for the second card? All right, so I told you we would be using leftover scraps from the last card, along with some other stuff. But from this card, we cut the bottom portion off of our embossed um, background. So I'm gonna be putting that to use on this card. We're gonna be using the other half of the sheet of paper that we made the first card base with. I am going to go ahead and adhere this panel down. It's three and three quarters by five inches. Lots of adhesive. Don't want those cards falling apart. So get this on centered. I decided I wasn't crazy about the inking on the last card, so I'm not going to ink this one. Make sure I get this on straight. And then we're just going to adhere this little piece right to the bottom as well. Okay, and then I went ahead and stamped another uh, panel, just like the other one, and went ahead and die cut it already. So on this one, another reason I decided not to ink is because I was going to use one of these doilies. So I'm just going to stick this right in the middle to add a little bit extra something here. I used our banner trio die right here to die cut a banner. Now you could have used any of these. Uh, I just pulled one and then just cut the little ends because I don't need the whole thing. So I'm actually going to layer these behind the panel like this. And then I'm going to add some buttons to the side. Okay. 
and that completes the second card. Same basic supplies, same stamp sets. Um, we just added a couple more over here and ended up with two super cute cards. That's all I have for today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.